Welcome back folks, my name is Lyle Snowmeal and today I want to talk about Cyberpunk 2077 patch 1.5. So lately there has been crazy expectations when it comes to this update. That's least something I, I was able to read online from people and what they have been saying. There are people who truly expect Cyberpunk patch 1.5 to be a full revamp of the game, where they're going to take the game and make it into something different, where this is going to be the game that they promised, etc, etc. And that's especially tied because uh, this has been the longest pause since uh, we've had without the update. And usually it's like 2-3 months, you receive a hotfix, you receive a patch, and that's about it. But this time, CDPR went quiet. They have been quiet for months now working on this. And then, of course, it was supposed to come out sometimes by the end of 2021, then it was delayed further on. Mostly because developers wanted it to be delayed further on, because they cannot afford another release which has problems. Because keep in mind, they're gonna be releasing this as a next-gen you know, they're gonna be releasing a next-gen version of this game. Therefore, this next-gen version has to be flowing. This next-gen version has to be running well in terms of frame rate, stability, bugs, glitches, and everything else. Because, honestly, CDPR cannot afford another problematic release because we have seen how many problems the previous one actually caused and what kind of drama it it created but at the same time there are people who really think that this is going to be some crazy insane update that this is going to be the update we're all waiting for now at the same time i don't blame you because cdpr has been quiet and all of this time we don't know what to expect now i'm sure that prior to release of the patch they're going to have a, like a teaser or something where they're going to say some of those upgrades with or at least in that sense we will know what to expect but so far, they have been really, really quiet. So I do believe that the majority of resources and the majority of time has been spent on fi fixing up those bugs, glitches and the stability of the game. Now, of course, of course, it would be logical to add a few feature things into the game which are going to extend uh, the playthrough of people and make people want to go back into that game. Uh, of course, in that side, they can have a couple of free DLCs. Again, keep in mind, those free DLCs are not going to be huge pieces of content. They are always small pieces of content, including maybe uh, a street story, uh, a little bit of a new quest, maybe new armor, maybe some new weapons, new vehicle, whatever, alternative outfits. But that's about it. It usually ends up on that. The real, like, uh, feature update you get is usually with their expansions, which how it was done for The Witcher 3 with Blood and Wine and Hearts of Stone. So, the, the first proper feature expansion would definitely be, like, the first expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, but it still doesn't mean they cannot add a few things which are going to help people in their play playthrough, because people love to collect things, people love to take uh, time to just focus on the style of their character and that's something which has been lacking from cyberpunk 2077 the first one obviously being the ability to change your character to edit your character because it's the world of cyberpunk where people change their appearance on a daily basis it's a part of the culture it's a part of life and it's a part of this universe so of course i was surprised when i saw that you couldn't do that once you create your character that's about it of course you can do it through mods on pc but that's just on pc and that's only through mods and you know which can be very problematic so that's like the first thing i really wish to implement just the ability to, to change your character if i want different eyes if i want different hairstyle i want to be able to do that then on the other hand, we also have to talk about the uh, transmog system because, uh, again, being a game that is all about uh, style and whatever, there is a definitive lack of style in this game. Now keep in mind, of course, that the outfits themselves are well thought out and they're amazing. The materials that, that they use, the, the everything that they thought about in this game when it comes to just how things look, it's great. But at the same time... Like, the drops and how you loot stuff and how you collect stuff and how, like, what you're able to wear for those stats usually does not reflect any sort of style. It's just random pieces of clothing you just put on yourself. So hopefully they add some sort of a transmog system where you're able to, like, change outfits and just to adapt it to your style. Why not? It increases 
like uh, it decreases like the, the 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 will that people will have to play this game, especially people who are really into cyberpunk. They would want to go and collect different pieces of clothing that they will be able to change their outfits. This is how people do, and th that's something that people really like doing. Now, of course, some of the other things which I would love are just animations outside of city, like the things that you do, eat, sleep, drink, you know, I want to interact with the world. I don't want to be just uh, someone passing through the world and just driving around the world and looking at those NPCs. I'm, I know that AI, like when it comes to AI, it's incredibly difficult to just, you know, make a better AI. If that was done, like, you would have the best AIs in video games. AI is one of the most difficult things you can have in the game, so I don't expect them really to change AI so much, but at least on the immersion side, it would be cool to have some sort of animations when you're going outside to drink or eat, just so you can increase that level of immersion of interacting with a living, breathing city of Night City, you know? Because without it... You kind of feel like a ghost in that city and you don't really feel like you're a, a part of it. You don't really feel like you're just living there. It's, it feels like you're just existing behind this glass door, in my opinion. Just in my opinion. But of course, people will have insane expectations. And the problem with that is that most likely you're going to be disappointed. You know, with the scope of this game and uh, with just the amount of things that they set out to do like i don't know how much they were able to do i don't know and that's uh that's what's killing me out here because i don't know what to honestly expect from this update it can be anything it can be something huge or it can be like any other update we've had from before just the difference is this time you're also getting the next gen uh, version of the game which is by the way free if you own any playstation 4 or xbox one version and you want to play on on your new console that's free so that's great so hopefully um, this uh, chance is utilized well that they have because um, I believe that um, people will thank them if they include maybe a feature or two in the game. Nothing too huge, you know, nothing too, too something which, you know, can be impossible to do or would require a lot of time. Just something that uh, would keep people, you know, playing the game longer. Because one of the biggest problems is also not having any proper scavenger scavenger gear. I always hated that in Cyberpunk. Like in The Witcher, you were taking so much time to find all of the diagrams for that amazing Witcher gear. You know, if you want to upgrade it, if you want to go to legendary grandmaster level of that uh, of that equipment, you would have to really work hard. And that's something which has been removed from Cyberpunk 2077. You don't really work hard for your gear. You just kind of find it around, you know, and just use whatever you have so i don't know uh, from that sense i don't think it's been thought out properly but um you know that's just my opinion so my advice to you right now is that we're getting closer to this update there is no denying that but keep your expectations at a normal level don't hype yourself too much don't think it's going to be something crazy and maybe we're all going to be surprised but you know so far we got nothing, you know, CDPR has been quiet. At the same time, that's not bad because, you know, actions speak louder than words. And that's uh, that's something that I really want to see. And that's uh, something I want to see from this game, man. It, it's, it's a good game, has issues, has a lot of issues. But ultimately, uh, it has its good moments. And uh, I want to see more of it. I definitely want to see more of it as, as a lot of people want to see more of it as well. So thank you for watching. I don't want to stretch this out for too long. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. And also check us out on Twitter and Discord. And huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.